In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a hypothesis-enabled reading in your Moodle course. Right now, I am in my Moodle course, and you can see in the upper right-hand corner that I have toggled my edit mode on, so I'm able to add content to my course. The first thing I'll want to do is if I'd like to have students annotating a Moodle file or a Moodle page, I want to make sure those things are available within my modules before I go to set up my hypothesis enabled reading. So I have a folder for my module items here. I'm going to click into that folder and I will edit the folder contents to add the file that I would like my students to annotate. After I have added that, I'll return to the main module page. Uh, another option would be, like I mentioned, you could add a Moodle page to the module if you'd want students to annotate that. Next, I'll click on my Add an Activity or Resource option. And here you should see an option for Hypothesis in your list of activity or resources. So I'm going to select Hypothesis here. You'll see multiple versions on my screen, but in your Moodle course, you should only see one version of Hypothesis. And once I've clicked on that, it will bring me to a screen where I can begin to set up my assignment. Now, if your screen looks different than this, if you don't have the select content item, that means that deep linking is not enabled at your institution. And you should see our video instructions for setting up a hypothesis enabled reading without deep linking. If you do see the select content button, you can proceed with this video. So I'll select this select content button and I'll review the options for adding a document that my students can annotate. I could copy and paste a URL of a web page. I could select a PDF from my OneDrive or Google Drive, or I can select a Moodle page or a Moodle file, as I mentioned earlier. There's also an option to annotate YouTube video transcripts. So if you'd like students to do that, you can copy and paste the URL of the YouTube video. In this instance, I'm going to select that Moodle file I just uploaded to my course. So I'll choose the Moodle file button, and then I will go into the module where I have the file added and find the PDF to select. I'll click the select button and enter the title of the assignment here. From here, I can click on the continue button and then I can finish setting up the rest of the assignment settings in Moodle. So if I'd like to put any instructions about annotations here, I can do so. I can expand my grading options if I'd like to add a grade to this assignment. So I can input the number of points I would like this grade to be. Any other settings I'd like to change, I could do so here. At this point though, I have created all the settings I need to do so I can save and return to course. Now when I return to the Moodle module where I've added the hypothesis enabled reading, you can see that my annotation assignment is available here with my instructions and I can click on that to open it in a new window. And the PDF is ready to be annotated by myself and my students.